So hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is our next problem. This is actually a special request from one of the audience. So problem number 1037. We are moving at 60 feet per second is brought to rest in 12 seconds with a deceleration which varies uniformly with time from 2 feet per second square to a maximum deceleration. So we are asked to compute the distance traveled in stopping the car. Before I proceed with that, let me show you or let me discuss to you some of the basic principles we need to know before solving the given problem. So, basically, we need to know the differential equations of kinematics. So, we are going to use this equation to derive the equations of the curve later on. Then, the relations between those curves. Like, for example, we have here the vt and st curves so the relation between these two curves are simply uh, delta s or the displacement here this is delta s is equal to the area under this uh, vt curve and similarly for a and v we have change in velocity equals to the area under the vt graph so going back to the problem so we have here a car moving 60 feet per second, that is a velocity. So let us assume that 60 feet per second is here. Then brought to rest in 12 seconds. So after that 12 seconds, the velocity will be zero. So our delta V, therefore, from this one at 60 to zero, so meaning your delta V will be negative 60 your final velocity is zero so if we are solving for delta v final velocity minus initial the final is zero and then initial is 60 so we have 60 negative 60 feet per second then based from the given problem uh, we have a deceleration of two feet per second square which varies uniformly with time to a maximum value so we have a varying acceleration of two feet per second square and then varying uniformly meaning uh, the line is not uh, constant or the acceleration is not constant so we can assume any point here for a at that 12 seconds so initial is 20 and we can assume any value of a here so let us assume this value as your a at 12 seconds Okay. Now to solve this point, so if we are going to apply the relationship between V and A, so delta V will be uh, area under this curve. So we have an area of a trapezoid. So in your geometry, we applied the area of a trapezoid, assuming this is your trapezoid. So we have usually base 1 and base 2. And we have height, so the area will be 1 half, your base 1 and the second base a times h so if we are going to apply this equation of trapezoid so we have here one half base one is negative two plus your a one two or a sub 12 times height will be this one so 12 this will be your area okay denote that as a then this one is your delta v negative 60 so then let us equate both so we have one half negative 2 plus a sub 12 times 12 or equals minus 60 so this is your 60 then just input it into your calculator so we have and then shift solve the value of a sub 12 will be 2 negative 8. So this one is negative 8. This is negative 8. Then from that, you can now solve for the equation of the curve or the straight line. So using point slope form. So from our point slope form formula, y minus minus y sub 1 equals to your slope multiplied by your x minus x sub 1 
you can consider this as your point one, point one, and this is your point two. This is point one, so we have zero and negative two, and this one is twelve and negative eight. This is your negative eight. Then let us solve first for this dope. So we have y sub 2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so equals 2 so we have negative 8 this one then minus minus 2 then x2 x we have 12 minus 0 so this slope will be so the slope will be equal to negative 6 over 12 or simply that is your slope which is equal to negative 1 half. Okay, so from that we can now solve the equations or write the equation. So y minus negative 2 equals to your slope. So 1 half, negative 1 half, then x minus x sub 1 that is 0. To simplify this one, so we have y. 2 equals 2 negative 1 over x or simply y equals 2 negative 1 over x 1 over 2x minus 2 so we have here the equations for the at curve so this is obviously first degree so therefore uh, our equation for the velocity is a second degree we can now solve the equations of that curve in the vt curve Using the differential equations of kinematics, if we have already acceleration, uh, we can use the second equations so we have here. Instead of uh, x and y, we will use now uh, the variable which is uh, which are a and t. So this is your e and equals to one half t minus two. The equation for acceleration. So so from that, so we can now use the differential equations of kinematics, which is acceleration equals to dv over dt. Then using that a, so that is equal to negative one half t minus two. Then from that point, we can solve for dv. So negative one half t minus two dt. Then to solve the equation, integrate both sides. So our lower limit will be the given values or the first values. So for t, obviously that is zero. And then for t, let us denote that as t. So which means our t here is between zero and 12. Then our velocity from an initial velocity of 60 feet per second. So our initial velocity is 60 feet per second and your uh, upper limit here is simply v. So we can now solve the equations of the vt curve. So we have v. This is from 60 to v equals 2. Integrate this one. So we have v square over 2. Then that one half is this one. So one half multiplied by t square over 2 minus 2t. This is from 0 to t. Applying the lower and upper limit, so we have v minus 60 equals to 1 fourth. That is your negative 1 fourth. t square minus 2t minus the upper limit. Of course, these uh, quantities will become 0 if you substitute 0. Okay. So we have now v equals to negative 1 for t square minus 2t plus 60. We have second degree curve. If you are going to trace the curve of these equations, you can simply use a online graphing calculator like JLGebra. So we have here the value or the equations of the velocity. The velocity is this one and the acceleration is this one. And you take a look at our velocity. 
is concave downward. If you will check for the shape of our velocity, that is a concave downward parabola. So from that, we can simply draw the VT curve here, so concave downward. So we cannot use the area for second degree because this is not the vertex of the parabola. If you take a look at our, our curve here. So this is now our curve for the VT. So again, we need to solve the equation of the S to solve for the unknown. So we need to solve the unknown here so using equations again. So from the equations of the velocity, so we can solve for the equations of S. So from, so from velocity equals to dS over dt, so we have dS equals to V dt. Then V here will be the equations for velocity here. So we have dS plus 2, negative 1 for t squared minus 2t plus 60 dt. Then integrate both sides. Our lower limit for s will be 0 and upper limit is s. Then for t we have 0. Upper limit is t. So we can now integrate both sides. So we have s that is from 0 to s equals 2. This will be negative 1 fourth multiplied by multiplied by t cube all over 3 minus 2 multiplied by t square over 2 plus 60 t. So we can now simplify both sides. We have here s minus 0 equals 2. This is negative 1 12 t cube minus t square plus 60 t. If you will substitute now 0, this uh, quantity, all quantity will become 0. zero. So we have here the equations of s as 1 over 12 t cube minus t square plus 60 t. If you will graph this equations, we have we have this curve. Let me show you that for a second. So this will be the answer. Then to solve for s here or the s at 12 seconds, you can simply use the derived equations or simply by observing from our curve so at 12 seconds the value of ordinates will be 4 2 3 so we can check that by using our equations so therefore at 12 seconds we can solve now for s anyway delta s here is simply the final position or s then initial since we have zero we have only s so s will be negative 1 over 12 times 12 cube minus t square or 12 square plus 60 times 12. So using our calculator, so we have negative 1 over 12 times 12 cube minus 12 square plus 60 times 12 equal to 432 bit.